Okay, this is just going to be a short video talking about um, the operating system that you use for, you know, like video game setups. So, um, I, I see a lot of people saying things like, oh, uh, you know, you want to use Linux instead of Windows because Windows is expensive and you have to pay like $150 or, you know, $100 for a Windows license key and you know, you know, Linux is free. Uh, but, but I just want to point something out that um, uh, you know, Windows is actually free. Um, and, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, I'm not talking about pirating Windows. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm saying that Windows you know, legally is actually free. So uh, basically, if you have an arcade cabinet set up, um, you are uh, using a front end and uh, if you actually have it set up properly, you're replacing the Windows shell with your front end. And if you, if you download a Windows 10 uh, image from you know, Microsoft's site, and you install it, and uh, you never activate it, um, if you replace the Windows shell, uh, you, you will never notice any difference. Uh, you, you know, between an activated Windows and that system. Because, because the only thing that happens when you don't activate Windows is that you see a watermark in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen that basically says, like, it's, you know, not uh, activated or it's a not a genuine copy of Windows or whatever. But that's it. Um, and, and, and if you replace the Windows shell with the front end, you don't even see that message because you're not even displaying the Windows desktop anymore. It's just, it's just a black background. There's nothing to see. So, um... Yeah, basically, if you have like an arcade cabinet, uh, there is no reason to pay for Windows. You get nothing out of it. Um, uh, uh, I mean, it's just a waste of money. Uh, so yeah, I mean, download the Windows 10 Enterprise uh, image. Uh, you know, replace the Windows shell with your front end, and that's it. Uh, you, you never notice a difference. Uh, another thing too is that um, if you really want to have a good arcade cabinet set up, you are pretty much disabling it like anything that you don't need. And I really mean like anything. So so basically like on my arcade cabinet setup, I don't even, um, uh, you know, have the the network card, uh, the, the network device uh, enabled in my BIOS. I actually go into my BIOS and I turn off the LAN adapter because you don't need it. There's no reason to have an arcade cabinet setup. And, and, and really like, I can't stress this enough. Arcade cabinet setups, if you actually want everything to be perfect, they are extremely, extremely sensitive to, um, you know, any activity on, on the machine. And so if you, if you don't want it to stutter, if you don't want it to hitch, if you want everything to run perfectly, um, you're pretty much going to disable, like, anything that you don't need. So, uh, you know, network adapter, you know, any, like, weirdo, uh, you know, USB, uh, you know, uh, peripherals that, that you have. Uh, you know, it's like add-ons for it. And, and in fact, like, I would even go as far to say that if you have, like, um, a, uh, you know, like a secondary hard drive, you don't even want that. One solid state drive on the machine, that's it. Because if you have, like, a regular platter hard drive, just random, uh, you know, access, you know, you know like, uh, you know, you're doing, like, drive cleanups and, you know, compression and this other, you know, bull crap like that, can actually randomly cause a machine to stutter and hitch. So basically, one salt state drive, that's it. Don't even bother with anything else. You don't need it. And so, I mean, that's really what I'm talking about. I mean, really, like, I, I would say that, you know, that it's a safe bet that 99% of, uh, you know, like MAME or, uh, you know, like PC-based arcade cabinet setups are configured incorrectly and, and are not configured, you know, optimally. I mean, the other thing, too, is in your like you know graphics card drivers and your Windows power settings, everything should be high performance. Never use power saving settings; they all blow because um, it's going to result in random uh, hitching and stuttering. Because because you'll be playing something that doesn't use a lot of resources, and then it'll do something that requires more resources, and it's going to have to spin up the CPU, and uh, you'll get like a little hitch while it's happening. Always run maximum performance. Never use power saving. So I just wanted to just to point some of those things out. Um, never ever uh, you know, waste money buying Windows for an arcade cabinet. There is no point. You get nothing over just 
installing it and never activating it. There is, it, there is literally no point in doing it. Uh, it's, just, it's just a complete waste of money. So basically, yeah, Windows is free for arcade cabinets. Don't worry about the price. So, I mean, it, you know, if, if you're just concerned that, you know, uh, the, the price of the operating system is like a large chunk of the machine, you know, do not, you know, get a crappy arcade cabinet set up, uh, you, you know, because, uh, you know, you're, you're concerned, uh, you know, about, you know, costs like that. It is, it is, it is not worth, you know, uh, you know, having a crappy machine. You know, just uh, you know, you know, just because you want to save a few bucks when Windows doesn't actually cost any money.